Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. I am so excited for today's release. Our release will go live today, Friday, October 27th at 3 p.m. Central Time on our Etsy shop, which is linked down below, as well as our Facebook group, which you should absolutely join, especially after watching this video. I know you're gonna want to, and follow our Instagram for sneak peeks. So, today's release, I'm really excited about. It is our Let's Blend Volume 4. Four collections. So our Let's Blend collections are essentially where I put into the Facebook group, hey guys, I'm putting a poll up, submit your blend requests and name them, and then the top voted, which everybody can vote for as many blends as they want. So the top voted, we do the top 12 become a collection. And it's really, really exciting. I think it's a great way to incorporate you guys. It's really helpful for me. And I just love seeing all the blends you guys come up with. I just love how creative everybody is. And it just gets me excited, especially because I know what type of scents you guys are looking for and I know it's bakery because that's what I'd be loving too. So I have the top 12 winners here for this rendition of Let's Blend and we can just go ahead and jump into it. I will say, so first and foremost they are all snap bars but I will say I was trying really hard to experiment with colors with this collection. Um, not necessarily new colors but like blending so I was kind of being a little artist and trying to blend colors together to create different colors. So some of these might be new, which is kind of exciting and fun. But other than that, let's get started. So up first we have Carnival Mini Donuts, which is a medium brown. Y'all have seen this color before. Carnival Mini Donuts. This is a blend of funnel cake, cinnamon rolls, and sweet bakery dough. I know how much you guys love funnel cake. I too love our funnel cake oil. It is so good. So blending it with cinnamon rolls, I feel like just adds that extra hint of cinnamon. And then the sweet bakery dough is a perfect base. Fantastic. Mm, this one is so so good when I was making this one my youngest daughter Reagan she was she's four she was like mom it smells like cinnamon rolls in here it smells so stinking good so that is carnival mini donuts up next we have Palo Santa which I thought was so funny and clever and it's a dark burgundy color I feel like some of oh, the, the more fun colors are coming but I've used burgundy before but I thought burgundy would be great because it's a kind of Christmassy scent so this is a blend of a Palo Santo vanilla balsam and roasted pine cones vanilla balsam is like a well balsam is like a Christmas tree scent and then a little teeny bit of vanilla so I just wanted to let you guys know that as well with Palo Santo of course and roasted pine cones which I have never used before and I really like this oil it is so good yeah this just smells like a manly Christmas time this almost smells like what I would imagine Santa to smell like it is very good. So that is Palo Santa. Up next, we have Brown Sugar Shaken Espresso. This one is in like, I don't know how to, it's, it's an orange for sure, but there's some pink mixed in, which I thought was kind of fun. This is a blend of our Dark Roast, which is kind of like a more darker coffee, a little bit of espresso -y scent with brown sugar and cinnamon rolls. It's really good. It's so good. It's so so good the cinnamon rolls is definitely the most predominant at least right now because as this cures the other scents could definitely shine more but the cinnamon rolls is the most predominant right now and it is so so good so that is brown sugar shaken espresso up next we have nut tea look at that nut tea so funny this is a light green this is a blend of tea and cakes pistachio and almond all the pistachio almond especially with that tea and cakes mixed in it's so good yeah this is fantastic Anybody that loves pistachio, almond, tea and cakes, you're absolutely going to adore this blend. It is so strong, so, so good, and that is nut tea. Next up we have almond latte, which is a light brown. This is a blend of Chinese almond cookies and vanilla latte. I did Chinese almond cookies by itself in the Plana Hannah collab. She requested it, and I had never used that oil before, and it is so stinking good. That one actually sold out really quickly, especially for a snack bar in our shop. So that mixed with vanilla latte, is so good so good this is fantastic so that is almond latte up next we have jack frost which is a beautiful kind of darker blue color jack frost is a blend of vanilla bean noel and peppermint this is perfect to get you into the christmas season i know i say that a few days before halloween but get you into the christmas season i know and i'm wearing like a halloween shirt too how funny but yeah this is a perfect creamy peppermint scent this is exactly what i would imagine like a Christmas, like a winter, icy winter day to smell like. It smells really, really good. So vanilla bean Noel and peppermint. That is Jack Frost. Up next we have I'll Never Desert You. These names, you always y'all are so creative. A deep dark purple color. This is a blend of strawberry pound cake, lemon pound cake, and blueberry cobbler. I swear my three favorite things. This is so good. This is like the most beautiful blend of all three. 
I, I'm smelling it and then I initially am like, oh, it smells like blueberry. And then I get, a, I'm like, oh wait, no, it's lemon. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, it's strawberry. Like it's a perfect blend of all three. This is fantastic. This is I'll Never Desert You. If you are a fruity bakery lover, you are absolutely going to adore this one. The next one we have, oh, I love this one. This is Trip to the Mall in a beautiful teal color. This is a blend of cinnamon sugar, pretzel, and cream cheese frosting. I'm imagining Annie Ann's, Wetzel's pretzels. My, um, again, my youngest tried Annie Ann's for the first time, well, at least the cinnamon sugar pretzel for the first time, what, like three weeks ago, two weeks ago? And that's all she's talked about. Mom, I, I want the sweet pretzels, Mom. I'm like, okay, give me a minute. We gotta go back to the mall. Mmm, this smells like Annie Ann's. This, li this literally, when you are in the mall and you are walking past an Annie Ann's and you're like, I'm not gonna get a pretzel, I'm not gonna get a pretzel, and then you smell this, and you're like, one wouldn't hurt. That's exactly what this smells like. Oh, it's so freaking good. That is trip to the mall. That is so good. Up next, we have fall brunch. Beautiful magenta color. I love this one. This is caramel apple and French toast. I love, I love this. I love the French toast oil so much. And then that apple is just so ripe and good. Like the caramel apple, like it's ripe, but you get the caramel and it's just so good. It's just so good. This is definitely what I imagine a fall brunch to smell like. So again, fall brunch. And then next we have Christmas bread. I love this. I mix brown and black together to get this like taupe and I'm obsessed with it. Christmas bread is fresh bread, cranberry, and orange. Again, if you are ready for the Christmas season, here you go. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> it's like the cranberry and orange has like a slight spice to it. So it just smells like Christmas. And then you get that bread note. Mm, that is so warm and like fantastic and wonderful and all of the adjectives. That is amazing. Next up, we have champagne problems, which I did as like a very deep dark hunter green color. This gives me very Christmas vibes. I should have did this one for Christmas bread, but it is so beautiful. Champagne problems is a bubbly champagne berries and citrusy tangerine. It's oh, what is that champagne scent from Bath and Body Works? It's essentially that type. I can't think of the name. It's champagne something, but that's essentially what it is. But this is champagne toast. This is so good. Because the champagne isn't very alcoholic, It's just like a light bubbly note and then you do get the tangerine and you get the berries and it's very, very fruity as opposed to being very alcohol. And I love this. I had never smelled it before. I don't even think I've ever smelled the Bath and Body Works one to be quite honest with you. Maybe I have, but like I can't recollect it. But this is so good. Like this was shockingly good to me. I was honestly a little shocked that this was voted as one of the top ones and I was nervous to make it but it's one of my favorite. It's like one of my top three. So I know now why everybody likes it because it's freaking good. And then last but not least, we have Let's Get Caked. I've done this blend before and I know y'all love it. So I'm so excited that it got voted again. And it is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. It's fantastic. It's always good. It hits every time. The zucchini bread is so good in this and I feel like the strawberry white cake just really amplifies it. And then the strawberry white cake is so good in this. It's just such an all around fantastic blend. So that is all 12 of our Let's Blend Volume 4 Collection Snap Bars coming to the shop today. I am so excited about all of them. Honestly, I like wouldn't even lie to you. There is not a single one that I'm like, eh. Like I love all of them. You guys, I feel like <laughs> we know each other so well at this point. Y'all know what I like. And I would have said the champagne problems I was a little nervous about. I would have said if I wouldn't like wasn't a big fan of it. I love it. Like making this was Anyway, I love all of these. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. The release will go live at 3 p.m. Central Time. Make sure to check out all the links down below and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.